So, good day everyone. I believe I'm live. I believe I'm live. Yes. Yes. I am live every corner. Yes. So, good day. First of all, I will say sorry to most of the people that watch my program and uh, along the line. One minute. So, okay, the voice is coming out clear. So, the last video that I made, or the first video that I made on the new Biafra um, platform. I realized that um, the various social medias from um, all over, all of them, all of them, I, will, I won't choose, I won't choose one part, but all of them, um, they are messing around with, uh, with my network. So uh, most of the things that I was teaching, I was lecturing and sending out to our people. Most of them we are caught, most made it. At the end of the day, half of the video is online, and the remaining um, <laughs> program just disappeared. Um, I can't just tell why it happens that way, but uh, on today's program, such thing will no longer happen again. Why? Because I am recording myself while I'm still live. So if the other uh, programs are not um, um, and clear enough, don't worry. I will remove that one and I will put the re video for you to watch. So welcome once again to the new Biafra platform. If you are here for the first time, please check out the new Biafra, either on Facebook or on YouTube. Subscribe to the YouTube channel so that, and also click that uh, bell notification button so that whenever I come live, you will have the opportunity to watch it live. You know, and if you are watching from uh, Facebook, follow the page. And there is other pages that I created. The other one I call it United Eastern Region. Um, I would like that place to be a platform, an area where um, all the eastern part of Nigeria will unite together to discuss their differences and also um, iron out um, what they disagree or accepted with. So, um, without further ado, on today's program, I will be teaching on human rights. Human rights issues that are consuming the lives of our people. Because one thing that I noticed is that upon that our people are accusing the federal government of Nigeria. One minute. Upon the accusing the federal government of Nigeria, um, that they are committing crime in wasting the lives of our people, mostly in Nigeria. The same group that are accusing Nigeria is like you pointing finger on someone and the remaining fingers are pointing at you. You know? So most of them are also wasting the lives of our people, killing them due to one thing or the other. I have a question because today before I will jump in in promoting um, the leadership on other things pertaining governance and everything. I will, I will even like an environment where many people will be asking me questions. If, if you find something confusing, stand firm to question, to ask me questions pertaining those things. Because I will be available to answer those questions and clarify a lot of things. We don't need to be harming ourselves. We don't need to be killing each other. Nigeria belongs to us. 
Today, we are still Nigerian citizens. And there is no need in dividing the federation. I keep on asking, promoting the division of Nigeria on whose interest, trying to push people to boycott election on whose interest. Why should election boycott be something that we'll be preaching without telling the people the need for them to boycott the election? I always ask that boycotting election, why should people boycott election? Is there anything useful to it? For me, there is nothing good about it. And today, I came across something. And those things that I came across, I know quite well that is something that is tormenting our people. There are foreign forces that are pushing for this agenda to continue in Nigeria for their own interest. And the people that I notice that do promote such a thing are always the Britain and the Americans to distract attention of the citizens. Imagine some Israeli secret service company boasting yesterday that they have manipulated, successfully manipulated up to 29 elections, including 2015 election in Nigeria. How, why should we make ourselves so weak, giving foreign forces the power to choose our leaders, choose whom suits them and who protect their whatever they believe? Is that how we should be operating as a nation? Our country, quite well, is not functioning the way we want it. What are we doing to support the government to stand on their feet? If the government that we are seeing today did not do anything good for the people because of it, are we going to dismantle, destroy the country we, we hold dear that is our own? If a country like Nigeria can be bullied, pushed around, do you think that you, you will be different? Don't forget that you are an African black man. You are not accepted in any place of the world a part of that territory where you find yourself. Thinking that you will do something that somebody else that is not like you will put you in a position of power or in any position tomorrow, you must be joking. Our people has a proverb that says, he that travels a lot has more knowledge than a, an old man that is sitting back home. But our people are no longer bringing knowledge and teaching to our people. They are now utilizing their weakness to enslave because the only language or the only thing we learn from our former colonial masters is how to enslave the mind. Sitting in a comfort zone, dishing out orders, Knowing quite well that we are frustrating the lives of millions of people back home. Is that how we should operate? Is there no other way that we can use to achieve what we are looking for in Nigeria without punishing our people? We are no longer teaching our people on how to handle their own affairs, how to do their things. We are no longer advising our people to go back to farm. The people you want to kill, the people you are against, the people you are fighting are the ones feeding you today. I've been in Nigeria. I love swallow fufu. And there is the ones that our people produce, we call it Akbo. Do you know that the whole Akbo they are selling in every market of Igbo land today is not Akbo that came out of our farmland? You will eat apple. Apple will be tasting differently. It's sour. And if you ask, why is it this way? They will tell you, it's apple from the north. Granite is from the north. 
Rice is from the north. Beans is from the north. Onion is from the north. The same people you are afraid, they want to Islamize you. The cow meat you eat is from the north. Igbos before has their own cow. We call it Igbo. Where are they? We want to govern ourselves. We want to own our own country. What are we doing to preserve things that will help us to survive before we start making money to import? Are we different from Nigeria? How many of our people parading to Bibia France are putting on a bar shoe, a bar sword clothes, or anything made in Igbo land? You want to be free. Have you free your mind? Imagine the whole population of the whole Bia France parading to leave Nigeria. If you start promoting yourself, the position you will find yourself will be more greater than what Nigeria would dream that you should become. Love yourself. Value yourself. If the entire Igbo people are buying, purchasing their, their daily clothes and everything from Aba Abia State, that industry could have gone far more than it is today. But every Igbo man you show something, look at this. They will say that it's fine. And they ask you, where did you buy it? Thinking that it's imported. Immediately you mention Naba. The thing you will hear from them is... Everything that Igbos produce is being condemned. It's not valued. Our people are no longer going to farm to farm something to eat. Our people are forgetting how they farm their yam. Imagine the yams that I, I do eat when my fathers and their brothers were alive. That is so sweet. It's no longer no place to be found. Only few people in Igbo land can possess that uh, seeds of yam. All the yam that we are eating in Igbo land today is imported yam from the north. Now ask yourself. Are you qualified to call yourself an independent nation? Can you feed yourself? Do you know what they call food security? When I was small, in my compound, um, 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 potatoes, sweet potatoes do grow on their own without anybody farming it. But I do travel now. I, do, I don't see anything. I will walk from one bush to another. I will no longer be able to dictate where the boundaries of the land are. The land have grown equal that you can no longer dictate where the boundary is. To tell you, it has been long. Our people are no longer visiting their farmland. Most of them don't even know where the land of their fathers. How many are they? Who did that thing to us? Is it the same Buhari or is the North that want to Islamize us? That's why the new Biafra is here. I would like us to set out a department that will be promoting made in Igbo land. There are something we should achieve if we have it and have it enough. Then, if, you are, if it's no longer conducive for you, you may say, what else do I need? I have everything. I can take care of myself. During the time Ojuku fought war with Nigeria, when the Nigeria declared war on Biafra, that Ojuku defended our territory. Even though the farming that we are farming on our own wasn't enough to sustain, and the people going for war, Ojuku never planned for war. He never knew that Nigeria would declare war on him. Because he that want to go to war, as I do hear from various Biafran leaders, I am not here to mention names. Whatever Nigeria need, we shall give it to them. Let me ask you. Have you gone back to read the history of the Afran War? How many people died in hunger? How many food reserves do we have today that can sustain us even though for one week? If Nigeria need war, we shall give it to them. On which life are you going to fight that war? I keep on asking. Have we utilized everything that is in our position before calling for war? Now, Nigeria is no longer dancing to the tune of the Igbos. 
What are we doing? Have we done anything that will cripple Nigeria? No. Have we do anything that will touch Nigeria to make Nigeria to change their position and cause or the way they are treating the Igbos? No. What have we achieved? We have achieved to punish ourselves. Imagine somebody is dealing with you. Somebody want to wipe you out. And you want to sanction that person. You want to show that person that the way that is going is unacceptable. Why do you do? You take knife, you cut your leg. You take scissors, you cut your tongue. You take something, you remove your eyes. Believing that will pen your enemy tomorrow. What do he want? He wants you to die off. He wants you to die off so that they can use that territory to do their normal thing that, they, that is more useful to them. Sanctions, there are ways sanctions work. You must attack in a, in a um, 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 polite way because sanction is act of war. You have to look for something that will touch your enemy that will make him to focus. Nigeria is not handling the Igbo's affairs very well. But is it sit at home that will make Nigeria to change? How long are we sitting at home? Has Nigeria addressed it? No. Has your politicians addressed it? No. Even they sit at home with you. Knowing quite well, they are comfortable where they find themselves. And you and the Igbos, where did you find yourself? Are you comfortable? Today is Monday. Everything going on in Igbo land is crippled. Which people are hungry? The Igbo people. Which people are losing money? The Igbo people. Which people are not developing? The Igbo people. Which people are falling behind education level? The Igbo people. Tell me how sitting at home, boycotting election, will bring what you are demanding. There will be no election. Even though they bring the military, we are ready to combat them. Do you know that Nigeria is in position to place the eastern region under blockade? And you can't do shit about it. International community can only write what they like, but they can't do nothing. Which people will die? Our people that we want to give paradise. That never existed. We have no political plan on how to achieve it. Making noise, blowing trumpet, only to be published or write about in, in social media or in press. How many people are looking for their independence that you are seeing them shouting the way we are shouting on social media? You are a noise maker. You think that the more noise you make, that it will push people to come and carry a cross for you. Continue. Nobody will carry a cross. You must sit down, rewrite, redraw your agenda and plans. You, it may lead you to push down the house to rebuild it after some days so that it will have a very nice secured foundation. Let us look in-house on how to teach our people how to survive. All the whole Nigerian infrastructures are being rebuilt, developed, all that part of Nigeria. None of them are coming to the east. And we are helping Nigeria to destroy the remaining one we hold there. I have never seen all these people parading for Biafra, coming out telling their people, this rainy season that is about to come, we want enough food in Igbo land. We want Igbo to show the world that we can feed ourselves. Send our people back to farm. Nobody should eat imported yam from the north. Make sure that the yam you will eat is from your own farm. Nobody should eat any animal that comes from the north. Make sure that the cow you kill is the ehi ibo that, being, that we grown by ourselves. That is the message we should be promoting. 
before we start calling for whatever they need, we give it to them. Tell our people, we have areas that we have streams. Show them videos how to plant onion in those areas. If you go to that stream, it's full of bush, forest, and um, 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 trees. Show our people how to produce onion, how to produce vegetables from that stream area. Show our people how they can farm yam in their various communities and enough tuber of yam should ap 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 appear. Coco yam should come back. We should start feeding ourselves. Look at our women. Our women are, are developing monopoles at the age of 30. On whose interest is it to reduce the population of the Igbos? Is those that are feeding you. What are they using to produce those things that are exporting to your territory? Have any of you, as an Igbo man that love their people there, investigate if the food they are sending to you is the same thing that they are consuming? Young couples will get married. They can't even produce children again. It's because of the food you are consuming. While the time we are growing up, we are eating from our own farmland. Every touching, every touches is pregnancy everywhere. Every family, every two days, there is a case of pregnancy. Go and check in Ebola land. How many of them is going on? It's 10 out of 1 million. We have bigger war to fight. But it's not outside. It's not against Nigeria. It should be in-house. Join this the new Biafra, join me. Let us rebuild our area. Let us rebuild our people. There is no time to fight war or to point fingers or to call names. Now it's time to do the diligent work that we need for our people. Let us provide for our people. Let us show our people how they can create extra agricultural business. Let them know that there is money in agriculture, more especially now. We are making money, and billions of naira that we are making is floating to the north due to what we can no longer produce. How much is three, three pieces of um, 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 vegetable in the market? You would give a woman 50,000, she will cook a pot of food, a pot of soup with 50,000 naira. Things are very expensive. But that pot of soup that was cooked with 50,000 naira in a way. If you go to the poorest family in the village, they cooked better one with, with more um, um, healthy ingredients at the cost of maybe 700 naira. That 700 naira may be fish and salt and maggi or ugly or meat is the cost of that 700 naira any other thing they will use to cook that soup will come from their farmland but in a way that same pot of food soup cost 50,000 naira and you're a big boy whereas Whereas, had it been our people are planting tomatoes near the river Rhine area that is full in Igbo land, we will be producing tomatoes without season. There will be fresh tomatoes, real one, floating around our markets. Fresh vegetable will be floating. Kokoyam, everything you need, a goosey. I could remember when in my own family, we have a goosey that we do wash everything, wash everything and dry it and then use it to cook, grown in our own. But today, everything is, is it a machine uh, break the goosey or hand break the goosey? Where did the goosey come from? Nobody knows. Who cares? But we are busy fighting Nigeria, that Nigeria is dealing with Biafra. They want to Islamize us. 
we are turning ourselves with our own hand to become the next generation of Alamajiris that will take us too much energy to change the course. I am trying my best here now without knowing whether it's too late. You want to fight Nigeria, but you can never feed yourself. You can't feed yourself. Most of us are still farming the way our great-grandfathers are farming their ten, And they are saying, our land is not, um, is not producing anything. But I am here. I am ready under this platform, the new Biafra. Ask me how to farm anything. I have access to AI. Do you know what is AI? Artificial intelligence. That is very intelligent in explaining how to farm yam. How to farm yam and expect maximum result. And many people have tested it and they were marveled. Coco yam, cassava, everything has the new modern way to farm it. In that same land that you think that is useless. Potatoes, both red one and white one. How to grow onion. Even though the the product that Igbos don't possess, that do come from the north, I will tell you how to use the seed, how to use even though the leaf, how to use even though the stem to grow that same thing. I will show you how to use anything and to grow whatever that you think that cannot grow in Igbo land is possible. Small tricks, you will germinate your own seed and start growing it your own. There are rooms for a lot of things, my people. That thing that North is feeding us, I have the techniques. Let us go back to farm. I swear, I swear by the Almighty that I believe on. That if we accept, if we, even though five or six people joined this program and said, let changes of Biafra start, by, start from me. Let it start from you. I will lecture you on how to do it. I will show you videos. I will show you tricks. How to regain our farming dominance. I will show you how to farm yam, cocoa yam. And it will come out, you, 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 can't even, you will sell it and you can't even consume the remaining. You don't need to be going to market buying yam seed to be planting. You'll be producing it. And it will reach to a stage you will be selling it yourself. Because you have enough to sell. I will show you how to preserve plantain. I will show you how to farm plantain plantation. Even though you produce excess plantain, don't rush that you don't have customers. Bring two old women. Let them slice the whole plantain. Dry it. Dry the whole plantain. Tomorrow, you will mail everything and you will have enough food to swallow. Very healthy one, full of iron. Both Igbo plantain we call Unen Igbo and the Cameroon plantain or the, the other green plantain. Everything is there. How you can turn your yam, you, you see that our elderly history made us our old grandfathers, they don't eat even apple, they eat pounded yam. Most of us are outside the world, outside, outside Africa, eating rubbish, calling it pounded yam. While one carton of pounded, one carton of yam is it's not expensive. There are machines you can use to dry those things and eat healthy food. And in our own territory, you can produce it and turn everything, dry everything. Use normal nature. God gave us nature. Sunlight. Everything you produce says dry it. Dry it. Today is too much. Tomorrow you will be hungry. You will need it. Is it too much cocoa yam? Dry it. There will be time. It's not the season. You can still eat over there. Too to you have dried enough. Pack everything. Let us live fighting Nigeria. Look at Igbo. Igbo is drying up. We have nothing. Igbos have the best, best teller, best fashion designers. How many of us are wearing those clothes? 
you see my own i'm not in africa but if i go to africa this time everything both slippers and shoe everything will be made in abba let us live by example let us let us leave the war outside election whosoever that win in nigeria election whether we participate to or not is none of our business it's not our interest Nigerian president is the president of the federation, not the president of one tribe. Governor, the governor of the whole state, not the governor of your local government. To tell you, leave that side. Let's look inside. Let's rebuild our house. Let's change the infrastructure. Let's rebuild, let's build a solid foundation. Let us feed ourselves. In Igbo land, they say that the only child before that is allowed to get married is when you will stop eating mama, thank you. Start feeding yourself, even though extending that feeding to your parents. Then you are qualified to get married. Not that your elders are feeding you and you want to marry a woman on top. They will be feeding two mouths. And you are not man enough to take care of your wife. How many of us a part of doing Yahoo Yahoo, doing all sorts of crime, can feed our family in a normal circumstance. You can't farm. Maybe you don't know the tricks, I will not blame you. But that's why the new Biafra is here. This Biafra is not Biafra for war, not Biafra of manipulation, not Biafra of contribute money. This one, that one. No Biafra that will send people to jail. No Biafra that will let the blood of our people to float on the street. This is a, Biafra, a new beginning. This platform is a new beginning. Search for it. Subscribe. Join. Be part of it. If you love to save the life of our people. How proud will you feel if Igbos can feed themselves? Even though I possess the technology to give ourselves electricity without waiting for federal government. We can generate, we can use alternator, motor alternator to generate electricity for ourselves without, without fuel, without uh, uh, kerosene, without anything. Free energy. When we become self-sufficient, when we become self-sufficient, if you remember, if you history, it's no longer available. But most of you that knows that the people that set out the architect of Eastern region was has never had never been the British, not the Nigeria. It was the fathers of Ojuku during their time. They are the one that put the manufacturing of spare parts in Anambra State, manufacturing of electrical parts in various states. Manufacturing of various things was the individuals of Igbo because Britain was developing the north and the west. They left the Igbo, leave them with, with nothing. These men and their colleagues living in the US, in Britain, came back to Igbo land and drafted the structure of Igbo land. And they said, after implementing it, Ojuku's father will stand behind. Um, 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 what they call it, 911, to make sure that their structures are working. They established everything. They were there. They participated to put Igbo where they were today. By that time, they called Igbos in Nigeria the backward tribe. Go and ask. They call us the backward tribe in Nigeria. But after their structure start manifesting, the Igbo land, Eastern region economy, was growing so fast that they nearly supersede Britain, Great Britain by that time, before Biafra War was introduced, activated in Nigeria, just to cripple the economy of the East. They never love you, nor want you to grow, nor stand as a country. And today, the Biafrans of today, not this new Biafra, the Biafrans floating around, I am not here to mention names, are helping them to succeed. I have been watching 
most of you knows me before i do come out i criticize them and then label me um um um, 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 um what they call it um, enemy of biafra sabotua even though in my city here in Duisburg, most of them said that uh, um because uh, i wasn't making money like uh, which forced them and uh, nigeria now call me and they pay me i collected <laughs> you know building fantasy and lies but those messages that are stayed out since 2018 to today is it not the truth is it not the truth i kicked against that um 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 um, um transmitter because you have to secure ground before you're looking for mouth to sleep on it. You want to put transmitter in another person's territory where another person is controlling. The mass, where is it? Everything disappears. Some people said, yeah, it was bought. Some people said that it was empty container. Story, story, the money is gone. Biafra is at hand. Biafra is at hand has been the message since 2008. Where is it? Today is 2023. Today is 2023. February, about to end. All the whole message, all the whole information, if you boycott this United Nation, if you do this, you know, since you have grown to become a man following the Biafra and these people preaching to you, has you, have you ever seen the United Nations addressing your matters? Who cares? You must carry your cross. And the way to carry it is not sitting on social media and shouting to sit at home. Sit for what? If you want to punish Nigeria, listen to me. Let me give you a small example. If you want to punish Nigeria for your matters to be taken serious, hmm? One thing you may try, one thing. <laughs> Advise all the whole Biafran people following you. I know that a lot of people are following you, people. Tell them the bank that belongs to an Igbo man. Let them go and withdraw all their money from other banks and move it to that bank. You will see what will happen. Only this, only this, only this try, this small one. You don't punish your enemy by shooting yourself on your own leg or block us. Sitting at home, killing your people that they are, they are disobeying. Are you not silly? How can you sitting at home, how can you boycott an election affect Nigeria? Or was it really push us to boycott census? Igbos are the minority in Nigeria today. Is it not true? Knowing the position of Igbo people in the whole Igbo land, we are now the minority. Due to Wazirike by that time, it's like you people. Telling people fake news without any proof. I tell my people, if somebody tells you he is going to take you to promised land, if he say that I am going to take you to the promised land, if you are not seeing manners falling from heaven for you to eat, to sustain to see the promised land, knows that there is no promised land. I am Zebedeji Ejikemowa Kori. I am here to feed you with the truth, the lie, and the light. If you follow and join me, we will rescue. It's not too late. We may rescue our people and put them back on track for them to succeed. There are things that are irrelevant. There are things that has no value. Fighting for dividing Nigeria. For whose benefit? Who is going to rule you if they give you Biafra? Who is going to be the president, the governors? Show me your constitution. Show me the structures you have set out how to govern yourself. How many of you has diplomatic background? What do you know? <laughs> oh, my people. Let me stop here. I noticed that I'm receiving a lot of warnings and information that a lot of uh, streaming areas is not working very well. But I'm going to upload direct clear video that you will follow. 
All you have to do if you are here for the first time is join the new Biafra. On YouTube, subscribe and click the bell button. And also write to me that let us join the discussion forum. I have already set out a forum. It's not in Facebook. It's not on Twitter. Um, what they call it? Uh, WhatsApp. It's a different platform where we will sit down to discuss our own matters. Not who cares? Blowing trumpet. Who cares? Nobody. It's our problem. I have set out a Discord where we will sit down, discuss our matters, teach our people, lecture our people how to go back to farm. And let's see what the seed we are about to sow, what is going to reap. God bless you people. Remain blessed. And bye-bye for now.